my hello. I'm Amanda and I'm home from my trip now. So far you've seen about two days worth of footage. And if you haven't, you should go check it out because you'll be kind of confused right now. Okay, so let me explain what you're gonna be watching or what you're already watching. So basically, let me get this squashed. My facial expressions on the plane wasn't, I hate vacations. I just have a lot of anxiety, especially flying on a plane with a massive family behind me that are very loud. So that explains that. Okay, so now on the topic of my anxiety, I made it a goal for myself on this trip that I'll step out of my comfort zone so I can experience different things that I'll regret not doing. And that begins with the excursion. I couldn't film much on my camera because it's not waterproof, but thanks to Danielle's waterproof phone sack that she had, we have some footage. Now, I've been on excursions and they're pretty neat, but I still get scared of swimming in a cave with bats on the ceiling. But I did it anyway because we're stepping out of comfort zones here. Now, I'm super happy I did it because even though I almost crapped my pants because of the bats, it led us to this spacious area which I really didn't want to leave because of how pretty it was. And that's this. We planned earlier that day that we were going to do this thing called a sea trek. So that helmet thing is basically an air pocket and we were told if we look down, water will get in. We were also told do not jump. Well, because then you're screwed. All the water's getting in. But hey, like I said, stepping out of comfort zones. So I can't back out of this now. Even though I'm terrified being in an air pocket 20 feet underwater. So I did it, and the entire time was freaking out. But I got to pet stingrays, I held a crab, which I shortly dropped. Oh, and I saw cool statues. The rest of the day was relaxing, so I have some footage of the dry parts. It's a banana. And after all that, we saw a really cool show about the history of Mexico. So enjoy.
fast forward to the next day. This day, stepping out of my comfort zone was the hardest. I'm not one to party, but Danielle is. So I decided to go to this place called Coco Bongo. <laughs> feet were still hurting from walking so much in the excursion the day before so standing in a club very close to people wasn't my dream place to be in long story short we lasted about two hours there because my heart rate was up to 140 which it's not that good but um, I did get some footage of what we did see at Coco Bongo <laughs> Let's rewind to about two days prior to all of this. So Danielle and I were just trying to have a lovely day in the pool, but of course, there was very annoying children there. But besides the point, there was this thing called a foam party, and it looked something like this. Now, stepping out of comfort zones. Normally, I don't like to be too close to people, especially in the water. Now, the foam was actually bubbles which I almost drowned in, not just me, but my aunt too. And my lovely mother caught that on camera. <laughs> So as you can see, uh, we disappeared. The only way to get out was to go underwater so that when we came back up, the foam kind of moved somewhere else. At first, I didn't know that, but then Danielle told me to try it and it worked. Now, my poor aunt did not know that at all. So I had to quickly tell her, go under, go under. So for the most part, this entire trip was me stepping out of my comfort zone, which I'm super glad I did because I wouldn't have the story to tell right here. Anyway, thank you to my lovely mother who put this trip together and I'm forever grateful. And thanks to you guys for watching this adventure. I'll see you next time.